Well, again, in the previous film, I showed you or I outlined the nine principles of Florida friendly landscaping. Today, what I'm going to show you is the practice of these in my own home. Okay, we're walking through the garden, and the first thing is I got a square foot gardening, low maintenance, no fertilizers, no pesticides, hardly any water. So there are three of the principles there straight away. Moving up now, I've got a downspout there. Notice not on not on uh, the concrete. Again, one of the principles reducing stormwater runoff. If I go over now to the front door, here I've got a gardenia. Look at it, hardly bought it at all, it's in a protected space, right plant and what's more I open uh, the windows and I can smell this beautiful perfume plant. If I go through now to the front here is a barrel reducing storm water runoff. Okay let's go round the back and see some more of these principles. By the way here I've got a maintenance free garden. It's a cacti and succulent garden. Okay let's walk through round the side. Here I've got a hedge of arecas. Why? Because what's happened is I wanted to shelter the garden. I wanted to shelter it. Okay we're going now through to the back. Here water barrel again reducing storm water runoff and that would be principle eight. Here I've got a succulent garden, right plants and right places. Okay, another barrel as well and it's also got a downspout. Notice going straight into that garden. Okay, let's walk now through. Here I've got a pergola. This has got a series of common plants here walking now through into the back bird table bring in wildlife water supply blue jays there you can hear them all and here I've got a black olive maintenance free walking through now to the Florida friendly section sea grapes right plant right place live oak Simpson's soppers Stoppers, live oaks again, shady ladies again, all these plants will, they are, slash pine, all these plants will bring in insects and they will attract wildlife. That would be principle number five, attracting wild air life. Here you can see a composter and the composter, what I'm doing there is recycling my yard waste and you can see here I've got anything branches I've cut down recycling the waste and in this tub I've got fallen fruit sea grapes sea grapes now this boy we're working up to is a bad boy that is the wrong plant this is a neighbor's garden and this is Brazilian pepper that is a bad boy and that should be exterminated here, sea grapes, these attract warblers and birds. Florida friendly landscaping again. Walking on, if you see here, round these trees, mulch, mulching. Notice the mulch does not touch the actual trees and like I've said in the previous slash pines, Florida natives and again more sea grapes. Let's walk on. These palms protecting the pergola walking through. Mulching again like I've already said. Walking now still through. Mulch on these. Protecting them. Here more sea grapes. More sea grapes. In the back there you can see these slash pines, protected species. These are this is Podocarpus walking through again. Live oaks. Here 
water again attracting wildlife flutes now these fruit trees and all these uh, trees protect the aircon unit which will reduce the bill here I've got a rose garden again a square garden doesn't need to be fertilized doesn't need pesticide treatment here is a would-be vegetable garden again using some of the principles of Florida friendly landscaping if you look at that not a single weed in it and it's never been treated with fertilizer or pesticides here are some Florida friendly plants now used to attract wildlife these in fact are used to attract butterflies I've got Budlia I've got Penta I've got Firebush these all attract butterflies these fruit trees the same trees all in the same line again they will reduce the uh, con bill walking through a flower bed again here square foot garden no fertilizers no pesticides again a butterfly house used to attract butterflies milk weed here blue days butterfly bushes or attractants here you can hear in the background there you can hear a red-shouldered hawk and a hummingbird feeder and here what I've got is this pergola jasmine this by the way this fruit is a Florida friendly plant it is golden dewdrop and the berries bring in birds etc and this is this whole of this area Florida friendly plants Thatcher Hatchy grass sorry for Hakahatchy grass I don't know if I even spelt that or said it right bird feeder attracting birds again and this ficus will attract warblers because it attracts insects so these are some of the principles of Florida friendly landscaping here I've got this corridor so these plants are attracting wildlife you know links from the previous garden to this garden so what you've seen here are some of the principles of Florida friendly landscape bird feeder tables here bird table water critters love water and as I always say in these films don't forget keep your fingers green and